Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead and welcome back to the outside kitchen. I think our days might be numbered because I think fall is in the air. I can feel it, I got my scarf on again. We went from full blown summer to these cool crisp mornings. So I thought it would be an awesome day to make a pumpkin pie oatmeal bake. I love to make this recipe because I make it extra big so that we have leftovers for the next few days because it is excellent for leftovers, especially if you're in a hurry. Now, Doug is up working up on the homestead. He's working up in the barn and just trying to get a lot of stuff done before winter comes. So I need to keep his belly full and I'm gonna make this oatmeal bake. So I want you guys to come along because it's so easy and who does not like a good pumpkin spice or pumpkin pie dish during the fall time. I had about four cups of oatmeal that I put in a bowl and I'm going to, I soaked it as I just covered it with a little water, just enough to um, cover the oats. And then I put a heaping tablespoon of full fat plain yogurt in there and I mixed it all together. I'm going to add four farm raised pastured eggs. And I just love these eggs, they're so beautiful. The colors are so rich, orange, because they're getting all that nutrition. Because these animals have been on the farm and things and getting good sunlight. So what those chickens are eating, we're getting in our eggs, all that good stuff. And then I'm gonna add a can of, or pumpkin, organic pumpkin. And then everyone's favorite, some pumpkin pie spice. So I'm going to put a whole tablespoon of that in this, into the four cups of soaked oats. Okay, so a tablespoon of the pumpkin pie spice. And then I think I'm going to put a, probably about two teaspoons of baking powder. Some vanilla. Some homemade vanilla extract. Oh, I can't get it open. Cut that out, Doug. I can't get it open. Next, some homemade vanilla extract. So if you guys aren't making your own homemade vanilla extract, you should, it's so simple and easy. And you get so much, cause it's expensive. So you just get your vanilla beans here, cut them open a little bit, soak them in some bourbon or some vodka and just let it set for a few months. And then you have this beautiful extract that you can use in your recipes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a teaspoon of that, of vanilla extract in. smells so great. And then I'm going to put probably about three-fourths of a cup of maple syrup. You can use honey or you can do maple syrup. But I think for an oatmeal bake, if fall is in the air, I think maple syrup would be better. And I'm going to put about a teaspoon of salt. Easy, easy. I always like easy, easy recipes. That was a half teaspoon. And then you're gonna mix it all together. Now I've already soaked it with some um, filtered water in there and the yogurt. So it's already a little bit more liquid. So I'm gonna stir it up. How many of you guys love fall? This is my favorite time of year. It is just so wonderful. You can wear sweaters and <clears throat> start the fire just a wonderful time of year. And this is when I met my husband. <laughs> so love is in the air. 
It's a perfect texture. So I mix it up really good. And then I preheated the oven to about 375. And I'm gonna put it in a baking dish. Get it out. I just love my Camp Chef oven. It's great, it works great in the outside kitchen. I put some of my homemade grass-fed butter that I make here in the pan because you need some butter. I probably put a couple tablespoons of butter in here because it tastes so good when you put it at the bottom of the oatmeal bake. It's a good fat. So I put it here. So I'm gonna pour the oatmeal bake in the pan. And I'm gonna put it in the oven for, I'm gonna put it in and check it in about 50 minutes. So this should take anywhere from like 50 minutes to an hour to bake. And when I check it, I want the center to be not wet. It should just look like it's, it's cooked. So if it's too wet, still in the center, it, it won't be ready. Cause this is gonna be very, very moist. So I'm gonna put it in the oven and I'm gonna come back and check it in about 50 minutes. I'm gonna go out and do some chores and I'll be right back with you guys. It smells so good. I just have to take a peek a little early. All right, it's been about an hour and it needed to cook just a little bit more and it smells amazing and it looks amazing and I'm sure it'll taste amazing. So you wanna make sure that it's not soft in the middle and now it's ready to eat. Now one little thing I wanna to talk to you guys about you need to start cooking more at home because we don't need to be eating this processed food because it's just terrible for your bodies. We want to know what we're putting in our bodies when you want to cook with real ingredients that we know where they came from that don't have words that we can't pronounce. And this is so easy and it's something that Doug and I will have for the next few days that we can eat and it's good for us. It'll give us lots of energy. I'm going to let this cool for a few minutes. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and slice it up and then we're gonna have it with some eggs this morning for our brunch. So I'm pairing with my pumpkin pie oatmeal bake some scrambled eggs. They have a little cheese in them. I'm just gonna cut this up in slices and it refrigerates very well. Like I said, we're gonna be eating and snacking on this for the next few days. Let's look inside and see how it looks. scrumptious. Put, we can put some walnuts on here, some pecans, a little maple syrup. It'll be awesome. I'm going to go ring the bell and let Doug know that it's time to eat. So start cooking more foods from scratch and quit eating out so much and I will see you guys later. Have a great day. See ya.